If we look at the state of mental health around the world, we can see that in many countries it reached a crisis point. We owe it to ourselves to look after our mental health just as much as our physical health. Having an issue with our mental health is no different than having an issue with other body parts. When these parts are broken or not working properly, we can go to a doctor for advice on how to fix it. Mental health is no different, and thankfully there are many ways and different therapies and therapists available to help. Many of these people are speaking from experience. They've had mental health issues and they are on their healing journey and sharing their experiences in order to help others. However, unlike other body parts, you can't patch it up with sticking plaster and a potion. Mental health issues are not visible to the naked eye like other disabilities and illnesses. Good mental health needs inner work. To heal your mind, you have to go inside your mind. With mental health in mind, if you pardon the pun, we can see that the UK as a collective has a way to go on the mental health healing journey. When we're starting out on our individual healing journey, we look for mentors, guides, and people who have had mental health issues and are healing themselves with various methods. They can encourage and inspire us to do the same and live life to the fullest. With poor mental health, living life to the fullest and being happy are almost impossible. Having poor mental health usually includes having an addiction or two or three and usually means overcoming some form of trauma. Sometimes it can be all of those things and more. Sometimes these mentors can be celebrities. The trappings and temptations for celebrities can be immense. Many succumb to these temptations. Some overcome them and sadly some don't. However, there are those that overcome them and share their stories in order to help others. Anyone who has faced their demons, so to speak, successfully followed an addiction recovery program and has turned their life around for the better is on the path of goodness. For all the people out there who have done this and are doing this, well done. It takes a gut full of courage, so give yourselves a pat on the back. You've earned it. You've learned to love yourselves, which is the greatest love of all. It's not big headed, boastful or narcissistic and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Blaming people, judging people and finger pointing is not helpful. However, when someone does something to deliberately cause harm to another person or people, to the earth, to animals or to the habitat, then there's accountability to be considered and we'll get to that in another video. After years of scaremongering, lockdowns and living in fear from constant threats of conflicts and pandemics and being told the end of the world is nigh, it's now time for healing, meditating, forgiving others as well as ourselves and living in the now and not the past. Believe that you can and you will. We need to go forward without blaming people and without judging people. There's an obvious quote from the Bible that's worth mentioning because so many seem to have forgotten it. Let him that is without sin cast the first stone. There's only one judge and it definitely isn't any one of us. Nobody is perfect. If we were, we wouldn't be here. This is a new year with new thinking and an opportunity for a new start. And it's feeling good.